you as a defensive player, yep. you know how this goes. Like, the quarterback gets all the attention. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's over the top. Yep. You even said, like, Chris Jones could have been the MVP of the Super Bowl, right? Right. Ephraim said that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Ephraim. Yeah. But but you get my point is that they never looked that way. I, I still remember, and I brought it up earlier, when the Patriots beat the Rams, I mean the last time, right, for the sixth Super Bowl. Yeah. The Rams had Jared Goff. They averaged, right, like 35 points a game. They scored three points in that Super Bowl. And... The MVP, who it went to a wide receiver. Who was it? Uh, Edelman. Edelman. Yeah. Edelman had no touchdowns in the game, and he got the MVP as a wide receiver. Yeah. Instead of looking for defensive players that shut down a potent offense, right? Right. They went from 35 points a game to three points in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. But now I'm talking about quarterbacks, and we know Patrick Mahomes has had a great career so far, right? There's no debate there. I'm not even sitting here. I'm not trying to tear down anything that he's done. But when it comes to Super Bowls, people talk about all the time, don't bet against Patrick Mahomes. And I get it. He's won three Super Bowls. Yeah. But the numbers don't match up for what people talk about. Okay. If I told you that out of 12 quarterbacks who have gone to multiple Super Bowls, where would you think Patrick Mahomes' quarterback rating would be? Where would he be in the 12 quarterbacks who have gone to multiple Super Bowls? Well, right now – the emphasis you're putting on that multiple, <laughs> I would say he's probably eight on that list. How about 12th? Ah, he's 12th on that list. 12th on the list. Earlier I talked about Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. Terry Bradshaw won four Super Bowls, right? Yes, yes. People look at Terry Bradshaw as like it was all about the Steelers' defense. Steel curtain. Yep. Steel curtain. Mm-hmm. Terry Bradshaw was was good. He was okay. He wasn't the, the 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 stir that stirred the drink, you know what I mean, or anything like that. Right. His numbers. Nine touchdowns, four interceptions, a quarterback rating of 112.8. Wow. Okay. Okay? Uh-huh. Patrick Mahomes across four Super Bowls. Terry Bradshaw was 4-0 and won two MVPs. Yep. Patrick Mahomes. Seven touchdowns, five interceptions, a passer rating of 85.2. Mm. He's 3-1, and one, and he has Super Bowls in all three, right? Yep. Uh, MVPs. Yep. Huh. How surprised are you when you hear these kind of numbers? Because the noise and the talk, and I get it, winning covers everything. Nobody cares. He threw the game-winning touchdown. Forget that he was bad for the first three quarters. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? It's about winning. Yep. And I think that's what glosses people over when you think about it. But I don't think anybody would believe that Terry Bradshaw's numbers are better than Patrick. Oh, I, I definitely didn't believe that. I remember when I saw the um, the breakdown before the show, I was like, Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, this is going to be interesting. But then you say the numbers, and obviously, again – Steelers defense was so good at that time. So, you know, that's neither here nor there. We knew that. But I'm definitely surprised by the numbers that Terry Bradshaw put up. I would I would be remiss to to, you know, kind of leave that out and leave out Franco Harris and that offensive line and all the things, the weapons that he had at that time as well. You know, uh Stall Stallworth um not Stallworth, um the receiver. Craig, uh, I mean Swan. Swan, thank you, Lynn Swan. Like Lynn he, he Swan had guys. Um, definitely surprised by Patrick Mahomes' numbers. I mean, you know, and you know, I've told you before. I mean, being a guest on your show, you know who my goat Super Bowl quarterback is, and it's not even close. I mean, it's even Joe Montana, e- exactly. So even I, outside of Terry Bradshaw, so 
I mean, th- this is my issue too. Yeah, like they they want to leapfrog over Joe Montana. I know, and I know. say that Mahomes is chasing Brady. I know, <laughs> he's three and one. Montana was four and zero. Oh. You mm-hmm. know what his quarterback rating? What was his was rating? Was one twenty seven point eight. Mahomes is eighty five, and they say he's better than Joe Montana. Oh, that's not even close. I mean, even with the, even before you said we were having this segment, I mean, I've had these talks about people trying to anoint him as the goat already. Sure, he's the goat as far as talent. He's the most talented quarterback that we've seen. That I think that's. I mean, that comes without any question, right? I think for even the non-believers at this point, like you can see the guy, he's special. But when you talk about being the GOAT and you have the numbers to back it up the way you just backed it up, I mean, there's no way he's better than even Joe Montana at this point as far as Super Super Bowls go. I, 100%. I think we are such a prisoners of the moment. Whatever happened yesterday or Sunday is the best thing that we've ever seen. Oh, for sure. I hear people say it all the time. We've never seen this, never seen that. Yeah. Joe Montana, 11 touchdowns and no picks. <laughs> what, what did I just tell you? Pat wow. Jones has five picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Has five picks and four Super Bowls. Yeah. Montana had zero picks. That's crazy. Then they say, well, they had Jerry Rice. Well, he won two Super Bowls with Jerry Rice and two without Jerry Rice. Yes. Okay. He also... Won three MVPs in those four Super Bowls. Yep. And, which is all, all impressive, but here's the other one. Two of those Super Bowls, he needed a touchdown to win the game. Mm-hmm. Not He needed a touchdown. Mm-hmm. So when I just look at some of these things, this is not about tearing down Patrick Mahomes. And that's, that's it it's right there. It's not. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's about yeah. honoring what Joe Montana – was able to accomplish in a rougher situation for a quarterback carry when you used to be able to ring Man, you could a it. quarterback's <laughs> head. Yes. And now if you touch a guy up high, it's 15 yards. Like you could stand in the pocket and not worry about it for the you know, for the most part, unlike what those guys played in. Rob, these kids have no idea. I mean, people were – when you talk about getting killed on the field, and I'm not saying that word in – in, No, in, I know what you, you know mean. About, but, like, getting destroyed on the field, like, you were – Lawrence Taylor going man, after they, Joe Montana. Go look at the film. They are ripping you up. And so, all those wide-open lanes, those receivers not being scared to be hit across the middle, like, that stuff didn't exist in that day. If you catch the ball across the middle, you're getting – you're getting your butt knocked out. You're getting tattooed? <laughs> You're getting tattooed. It's glorified 7-on-7 seven seven now, and that's still not to take away from Patrick Mahomes, but it's but, a different but look, era. But look at the names. You ready? Super Bowl. This yeah. is with multiple Super Bowls. Yep. So it's Montana. Yep. Jim Plunkett. Plunkett. His was 122.8. He, I mean, tremendous. I haven't seen Plunkett play enough, so I wouldn't know. But, yeah, Ru- Russell Wilson. Okay. Terry Bradshaw. Yep. Troy Aikman. Okay. Bart Starr. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady, Mm -hmm. Brett Favre, Kurt Warner, Mm. Eli Manning, Roger Staubach, and then Patrick Mahomes. (laughs) Just think about the names I just mentioned. Yeah. And and I said this before the Super Bowl, that I would take Eli Manning, and and my point was, and now Patrick has a signature moment, throwing a touchdown with time expiring. Yeah, for the win. Super Bowl, okay, there's his moment. Mm -hmm. But Eli had two. Signature moments. We talked about it. Yep. That throw to Mario Manningham might be one of the greatest throws and catches I ever saw in the Super Bowl. Yeah, down the sideline. Down the side. There was yep. no space. Yeah, it was crazy. Kerry, where, where was the space? It, like there this was big. none. It was perfect. Yeah. Perfect throw. Yeah. Small spot. He made it happen. Mm-hmm. He also beat the 18 and 0 Patriots. Yeah, that one was crazy. Yes. Right? Yep. And everybody says, well, the David Tyrese play was lucky. That didn't win the game. He still had to throw the ball at it's a Plaxico. Plaxico for yeah. the win. Yep. yep. So I give him credit for what he was at. They don't match up career-wise, not at all. Patrick Mahomes is far superior. Right. We're talking about the Super Bowl. And I'm going to push back on anybody who thinks he's chasing Tom Brady because he's still chasing Joe Montana. 100%. And you know I, I 100% agree with that one. It, Joe, you just said it. Four and zero, the rating, no interceptions, I eleven mean, touchdowns, no picks. It's it's not even it's not even close. 
I mean, uh, I, not I for just, the Super Bowl. We're talking about Super Bowl. We're Bowls just Super here. Bowl, yes, right? That's yes. all we're talking about. Yes, yes, not even and, close. And I just wonder, what is it? Just the recency, or is it just that the younger fans didn't see Joe Montana? But let me tell you something: the thing about greatness, you don't have to see greatness to appreciate it. Right. I don't. I didn't. I. Don't, you don't need to know or have seen. And I'm talking about a great man, Martin Luther King, to know that the work that he did. You don't need to have seen Babe Ruth play right. to look at the stats during that time to say whether or not he was great. Do you know I'm not giving you an excuse or well, I didn't see it. You didn't you don't need to have seen Michael Jordan play live to know what that guy was doing two three peats in his career. You brought up a point right there, Rob. Think about that though. So this generation now, you know, they all they're saying is LeBron, right? They didn't see Michael Jordan, right? So right. I, I think that is part of part of the problem, right? There's they're not doing the research or even caring enough to know the history of the games that they're talking about. They see the thing that's right in their face and it's shiny and it's new and it's it is great because it is. But you can't compare if you don't know the history of the games. And people anointing guys as the next best thing without knowing the history of the game. That's that's where the foul comes in for me. No, I'm with you. And you can't and you can't go that route. You need to just take a look. Joe Montana right here right now was a better quarterback in the Super Bowl than Patrick Mahomes. And so was Terry Bradshaw. But let's keep it to Joe Montana. I'm sorry. You can mention Tom Brady all you want and him trying to win seven super. Can he win four first? <laughs> can he win four? Exactly. You're automatically assuming he's going to already. If he doesn't win another Super Bowl, is he better than Joe Montana? He can't be. He can't be. <laughs> but you talk, listen to people and they tell you.